Ah, YouTube thumbnail tips and tricks. We all want those, don't we? So apart from your YouTube title, your thumbnail is probably the most important part of your video. I've said this before and it's true. So you need to have a good, no, a great thumbnail. You know, something that stands out, something that makes the user want to click your video. So here's a few examples of, well, some good ones and some not so good ones. So here's an example of a couple of good ones. Things that stand out, something that shows before, after, depending on your niche. And then also you have things where people just put photos on themselves. Random photos. I mean, it tells a story, but I mean, these people probably aren't really big YouTubers. So people don't really know what the context is. I mean, if you have a look at this one, it's a photo of a woman sitting in a crowd. What does that really say about extreme weight loss? Now also when you're a small channel with only a few subs, I suggest that you make use of words in your thumbnails. One to five should be enough. Now I see so many channels trying to go viral by not doing this and it's like taking a knife and stabbing my heart. Just stop doing this while you're still small. Now in saying that, I kind of have to contradict myself here for a second. Now obviously there are some instances where people would post a video and it just blows up. Now what you need to understand is this, this is like finding a unicorn in your garden. So you should never base your entire strategy on doing this. So I suggest stick to the basics, be consistent, grow your audience, and only then once you start getting traction, can you start becoming a little bit more creative and take educated chances. Now channels with large amounts of subs can get away with only posting images as thumbnails as I've already got an established audience. Think about it like this. John creates a YouTube channel on doing gardening. So John creates a video about how to grow flowers and in his thumbnail is just a random flower. Nothing else, no intrigue, no words, no context. Do you think that people are gonna click on this wanting to see what the video is about? Especially if this person has no followers, my best guess is probably not. So go out, have a look at what other successful people are doing and even the big ones in most cases use words. Model yours around what works and make it your own. Now Canva is a great place to start you know when creating your thumbnails and it's completely free. If however you prefer something like Photoshop make sure that your canvas dimensions are 129 by 1080 which is basically the high definition canvas size. Now there is of course another free alternative to Photoshop if you can't afford Photoshop and that is a site called Photopea, or however you say that. It works exactly like Photoshop with layers, the whole shebang. Again, it doesn't cost you a cent. Now you've got to realize that your thumbnails are what makes your video stand out from everyone else's video. If two videos rank for exactly the same keywords, the one with the best thumbnail will almost always perform better. It's just how it is. Now try and do ethical clickbaiting. And by that, I mean sure, put something in there that will entice somebody to want to click your video. But what you absolutely do not want to be doing is lie. If you create a thumbnail that is absolutely unrelated to what your video content is about, people will start catching on to it and you'll either start losing credibility or YouTube will start losing you. You make the choice. And so while this may increase your click-through rate, if your thumbnail has nothing to do with the contents of your video, ultimately your watch time will start suffering, which in turn will drive down your rankings, your credibility, and the potential of getting suggested. So try and have a good balance between making people want to click your video and obviously providing good content. So here's a quick tip for if you want to download a thumbnail from a video to study. Emphasis on study, and not steal. So you want to go to a website called thumbnailsave.com and simply paste the video in there, click submit. Now all the different resolutions will be shown and you can download it to your computer. Again, do not steal other people's work, simply use this for inspiration. So here's another pro tip, not many people know this, but if you name your thumbnail file the same as your video title before you upload it to YouTube, this can also help with tying everything together and assisting you in ranking your videos better. And so that's a wrap for this video on YouTube thumbnail tips in this series on how to rank YouTube videos in 2019. Subscribing helps me help you, and so help me help you. Oh, and before I let you go, in the next video, 
I'll be covering end screens and cards, so do look out for that one. Stay awesome.